their line of Swan's cleansing cream. Could I substitute their new cleansing cream instead? Very well. I'm sure you'll be very happy with it. Mom, please! Thank you, Mrs. Leone. Uh, you should be receiving your order sometime next week. Bye. Just a minute, Benji. Oh, never mind. I just have to write this order before I forget it. There. Now, what's all the fuss? Nothing. Come on, Benji. I haven't got all day. Oh, it's nothing. It's just Marv Hammerman's gonna kill me. That's all. Come on, Benji. Not kill you. No one's going They're to... They're chasing me. That's all I know. And when somebody's chasing you, and when it's Marv Hammerman and Peaches, you don't stop to ask, now what are you guys actually planning to do? Kill me or just break a few arms and legs? What'd you do to these boys? What did I do? I didn't do anything. You must have provoked them in some way, Benji. You think I would do something to Marv Hammerman? He's the biggest boy in our sixth grade class. He's bigger than any boy in the eighth grade class. He's big enough to be in the Marines. Think, Benji. I have a feeling you're not telling me the whole story. Why are they after you? Oh, what's he's talking? Why don't you watch TV and get your mind off of yourself? Oh, look, it's Tarzan. You always love Tarzan. The white hunter's up to his neck in quicksand. Big deal. All I had to do was lie down on the quicksand and not struggle, and he wouldn't sink. How do you know that? I didn't know that. As he figured it out, as he's got 17 emergencies, how to stay alive and survive in the jungle. Well, it seems to me he'd be better off figuring how to survive emergencies in the city. As he's preparing himself for when he goes to Africa someday. Emergency number five, attacked by an unfriendly lion. Wait until the last minute, then ram your arm all the way down the lion's throat. It may not be the nicest feeling to be up to your shoulder and lion, but this will make the lion gag. If this does not work, try emergency number six. Remove your arm from the lion's mouth quickly and tickle him as hard as you can under his left armpit. Mouse Folly! Hey, Mouse! I'm here! Come out! Mouse Folly! You hear me? Don't yell my name! 
my name? Are you nuts, Ezzy? What's the matter with you, Mouse? Shh. Hey, garbage dog. What you got in your mouth, huh? Let me see. You got something in there now. Hey, what you doing? Garbage dog got something in its mouth. I want to see what it is. Hey, wait a sec. I know how to do it. I saw Mrs. Pinsky do it when she tried to give her dog the worm pill. She pressed the release lever behind his jaw. Am I going crazy or is that a turtle? It's a turtle. It's mine. How come? Finders keepers. Keep it, I don't care. You don't? How come? Hey, what happened? Where'd you go after school? Hammerman's after me. Marv Hammerman? You mean big, gruesome Marv Hammerman? What other Marv Hammerman is there? What'd you do? Did you do anything at all? I did something. What'd you do, bump him? No, you know that big chart upstairs in the school hall? Wait a sec! What did you say? I said, you know that big chart upstairs in the school hall? What chart? The chart that shows man's progress from the ape to where we are now. Oh, yeah. So? Go on. I just looked at the picture of the Neanderthal man and thought of Marv. It does look like him, Ezzy. The sloping face and shoulders. Yeah. So I wrote Marv's name under the Neanderthal man. <laughs> what did you do it for, Mouse? Marv Hammerman. Anybody else in the school would have been better. I'd rather have the principal after me than Marv Hammerman. You know, Mouse, you, you ought to stop drawing arrows and writing names on things. Someday it's gonna get you in a lot of trouble, you know. I know. Remember how Tony Valfuco was shoved at the drinking fountain by Marv Hammerman? And how he lost those two teeth when his face hit the basin? I was behind Hammerman. Hammerman's big, Mouse. He's flunked a lot. I know. Then what did you do it for? I don't know. You must want trouble. I don't want trouble. Here. Then what did you do it for? I don't know. Maybe Hammerman doesn't know you did it. I mean, who's going to go up to Hammerman and say, hey, Hammerman, I saw a funny thing about you on the prehistoric man chart. Who in their right mind is going I to? I think he knows, Izzy. How did he take it? I don't know. It's too hard to explain. You'd have to be there to know what I mean. Well, if I know Marv Hammerman, he was mad. Yeah. Why'd you do it, Mouse? I don't know. You must want trouble. I don't want trouble, Izzy. I have a thing about getting hit. I don't know why it is, Ezzy. I just hate to be hit or hurt in any way. Especially when I know it's coming. It's just one of those personal things. Listen, Mouse, nobody wants to get clobbered. You ever been hit before, Mouse? I mean, hard? Four times. In one fight? Four hits, four fights. Who hit you? Two boys in Cincinnati when I lived there. Another boy named Mickey Swearinger and somebody else I don't remember. You went right down each time? I mean, pow, and you went down, pow, and you went down, pow, and you went down? Yes. Where'd you take these hits? All over. The worst one was in the stomach. Yeah? Which one hit you there? I don't remember. How bad did it hurt? Benji, supper. Mouse, I just remembered something. I know a boy Hammerman beat up. He said it wasn't so bad. Thanks, Is. Why aren't you eating, Benji? I'm eating. 
Look, if it's that what's-his-name that's bothering you. Marv Harriman! How could you forget a name like that? Believe me, Benji, in two weeks you'll look back and laugh about it. Oh, yeah? I never heard of anybody laughing with a broken jaw. Look, if it should come to a fight, why don't you get your buddy, Ezzy, to help you stand up to Marv... What's his name? Hammerman! If he bought perfume from you, you'd remember his name. Look, if he's such a big boy, you shouldn't fight him by yourself anyway. You remember that fight you had with that big bully back in Cincinnati? Your poor stomach hurt for a whole week. Hey, I got a great idea. Yeah, what? Let's go put the girls in a garbage can. What a great idea. Come on, let's sneak up on them. Come on, Daddy. You stay away from me, Benji, if you know what's good for you. I'm warning you, Benji, falling. Come on, you guys. I need help. I got a big one. Nobody puts Viola and Gaudi in no garbage can. Ugh. I can't eat anymore, Mom. You're wasting perfectly good food, Benji. When I think of all the poor, starving people, Kathy, hello, hey, come in. Miss Polly, hi. Hi, but, oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to disturb you while you're eating. Is anything wrong? No, but I, I'd like to ask you a favor. Um, could Benji go over for Mr. Casino? He's uh, visiting Margie. She'd walk him over, but she's keeping the baby for Agnes tonight. But sure. Y you know how it is with my husband since he had the stroke. Benji will be glad to go. You mean now? It's getting dark out. Do you mind, Benji? No, I'll go. And don't rush Mr. Casino. Papa, I'm so glad you could come to dinner tonight, huh? And Benji, thanks for taking him home. Uh, there, he's all ready. Uh, the streets are dangerous this time at night, so take care of each other, you hear? Let's go. Please, Mr. Casino, can we go a little faster? The boys are gonna kill me. Oh. Hammerman's coming. What? Marv Hammerman coming. He's in front of the newsstand. He and Peaches, I saw them. They're coming this way. I had to run all the way around. In front of Hogan's newsstand? Yeah. Look, Ez. Could you take Mr. Casino home for me? Just walk him slow. That's all you have to do. Because if I run, I could probably get home before Harriman sees me. Are you kidding? Besides, I can't. Is he listening? Mouse, you know my dad. He gets mad if I'm not home before he is. I'll see ya. Come on, Mr. Casino. Let's go home. I don't mean to hurt you, sir, but could you rock a little faster, please? There they are, Mr. Casino. Just a minute, Mr. Casino. Please, Mr. Casino, they'll kill me if we go out now. Emergency number nine. Unexpected charge of an angry water buffalo. Buffaloes have a blind spot in the center of their vision. So when being charged, try to line yourself up with this blind spot. That way, he won't see you. What are you two doing here? I'll call the police. No, please don't. We were just looking for a mailbox. What are you, both of you nearsighted? We'll be going in just a second. Oh, all right. Well, let me do it. 
I love unlocking doors. When it comes to unlocking doors and holding them open for ladies, I'm in a class all by myself. You just go right on in, ma'am, and I'll make sure the door's closed tight behind you. Thank you. with mom? Oh, Benji. <laughs> Didn't you ever hear food poisoning? Why do Ezzie and all the others call you Mouse? If I were you, I'd tell them to stop. That sort of name can stick with you all the rest of your adult life. Gentlemen of the board, I'd like to present to you the next president of our company, a courageous, lion-hearted man, Mouse Foley. We are gathered here to join these two in holy matrimony. Do you, Mouse Foley, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? Off you go, and don't forget your books. You'd send a dying boy to school? Oh, go. Fellaini, would you stand and tell the class everything you know about the Knight's Code of Honor? Well, they did a lot of fighting for their honor, I know, and a lot of it was done on horseback. Yeah, but what did the uh, Code of Honor mean to the Knights during the Middle Ages? Oh, a lot. I have a feeling you didn't study a lot last night. Not an awful lot, Mr. Stein. Benji, you're late. Yes, sir. My mom thought I was sick. I wish you kids wouldn't come to school when you're sick. I didn't have a temperature. You come to school, infect everybody, go home, then you have the fever. And where does that leave the rest of us? Last year, I got the mumps from one of my students. <laughs> this is more like food poisoning, Mr. Stein. Well, I hope so. You want to go see the nurse? No, I feel all right for now, Mr. Stein. Huh, if you say so. Well, now, <clears throat> I think it's interesting that honor has been one of man's most precious priorities since he first took pride in himself. It reached its peak during the Middle Ages. Today, we are more apt to refer to honor in terms of self-respect. And what is self-respect? Anybody? It's the way you feel about yourself. It's the good way you feel about yourself. 
That's right, children. Our self-respect tells us that we are somebody special. To be able to live with ourselves, we have to like ourselves. And we have to protect, and sometimes even defend our self-respect. That's right, Rebecca. When our honor is attacked, we defend ourselves as best we can with words or actions, which is the reason some people argue and some people fight. No, oh, before I forget it, I better give you tomorrow's reading assignment. Hey, Sue, Hammerman's after Mouse. Pass it on. No talking. Hammerman's after you. He is? Benji. Yes, sir? Do you have something you want to share with the rest of the class? No, sir. Then why are you talking? I don't know, sir. You don't know? No. Then if you don't know, I suggest you stop talking. First, you disrupt the class by coming in late. Then you disrupt the class by talking about nothing. Yes, sir. What is it, Ezzy? I just wanted to say I think everything you said about self-respect is absolutely right. Well, I'm relieved to hear you agree. Hey, Hammerman's after you. I know, I know. Do you think I don't know? Well, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Watch it, Mouse. Sorry. Emergency number 17, seizure by gorilla. If this happens, you relax completely and make soothing noises deep in your throat. It's a sure thing, Mouse. You make soothing noises and he lets you go. Well, hi, Hammerman. I'll see you after school. What you doing up there, Mouse? Shh. I thought you were sitting home sick. I was. The nurse said I had a temperature. What are we whispering for? When you're a wanted man, you can't be too careful. If you're so sick, what are you doing up, up here? I feel better. Hammerman was looking for you after school today. He told me to meet him, but I was sick. They made me go home. Yeah, I saw him and Peaches after school. What'd they say? Hammerman just said, where's your buddy? Tell me every word, Ez. Don't leave out a thing. That was every word. Where's your buddy? Did you tell him that I had to go home sick? Yeah. And what'd he say to that? He didn't say anything, but Peaches said, yeah, scared sick and sort of smiled like this. <laughs> what else? That was the whole conversation, Mouse. Hammerman said, where's your buddy? Then I said he had to go home. He was sick. Then Peaches said... I know what he said. Well, you're the one who asked to hear it. Once I wanted to hear it. Once! Come on, let's go play some basketball with the guys. I don't feel like it. I feel sick. You just said you were feeling all right. I'm suddenly feeling sick again. Come on, will you? You can't ruin your whole life just because Hammerman's after you. Besides, even if he does show up, all you have to do is go in the grocery store and pretend like you're buying something, like Band-Aids. Hey, you know what, Ez? My mom had a great idea last night. Yeah? Since you and me are so good buddies, 
We could take Hammerman on together. That's not such a good idea, Mouse. Let's face it. Hammerman could pick the both of us up in each hand and slam us together like symbols. What shall I do, Is? There must be emergency for something like this. I don't know offhand. Hey, how about this? You could hypnotize him. All you have to do is get him to look straight in your eyes, and when you got him deep in a trance, you can tell him to do anything you want. Like, leave you alone. I don't think it'll work, Yes. All I know is it works on cobras. Well, I'm going. I'm going to give you a little basketball in before dark. Do you like something to eat? Attaboy, come on! It's OK. Come in. Mom's in front. You want to eat, don't you? What would you like? How about a roast beef sandwich? There are a couple slices here. I bet you never had a sandwich of your own before. Hypnotize Marv Hammerman. Could you imagine, right before he's gonna slug me, I say, wait, Marv Hammerman. I want you to look deep into my eyes. Deep, deep, deeper. There's these emergencies. Always amounts to doing whatever's most unnatural. If it's natural to scream, he says to be perfectly quiet. If it's natural to run, as he says, to be perfectly still. It seems whatever's the hardest, that's what you gotta do to survive in the jungle. I don't know. The hardest thing for me to do is to stop running from Marv Hammerman. Benji, have you seen my order book? I don't know if I could do that. I mean, not run, but maybe I've got to stop running. What is that dog doing in here? Come on, come on. Benji? What? Are you feeling all right? I'm OK. You sure? I tell you, I'm OK. Benji, have you seen my order book? Oh, here it is. Now, there are a couple of slices of roast beef in the fridge, or you can warm up what's left of that noodle casserole for your dinner tonight. And I'll be home as soon as I can, and uh, um, wish me luck. <laughs> and lock the door after me. Don't let anyone in. Casino. Hello, Benzie. Can I roll your laundry card in? Sure, if you want. Sure, I want to. When it comes to rolling laundry cards in for ladies, I'm in a class all by myself. Come on, come on in, Benji. <sighs> roll it right over into the kitchen, honey. Right over there, by, by the table. That'll, that'll be fine. <sighs> hmm. 
Your mother's not home again? She's showing her cosmetic stuff to a bunch of ladies. Your mother's so busy trying to make ends meet. She leaves you home a lot, doesn't she, sweetheart? Do you mind if I stay around and watch you fold? I love to watch people fold. Sure, sit down. It's not the greatest act, but <laughs> until I learn how to juggle, it's the best I can do. That's real pretty, Mrs. Casino. Yes, it is. Came all the way from Mexico City. Margie brought it back when she and her Sydney vacationed there. My teacher showed her class some movies that she took on her way to Mexico. Did she now? It was real funny. It was? I mean, when she ran it backwards. To rewind it. Everybody was walking backwards. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if we could do that to life? If you didn't like the way some things turned out, all you'd have to do was press a button and everything would go back to where it was. There are times I wish I could do that. Me too. You too? It's funny. You're only a child. you like to play a game of checkers with Papa? He gets so lonely these days since he's had the stroke. I really can't play checkers very good. I've hardly played since I was a kid. Ah, you're good enough. Come on. Papa's learning checkers over again anyway. Come on. Hi, Mr. Casino. How are you, Mr. Casino? Oh, he's fine. Aren't you, Papa? Benji wants to play checkers with you. Don't you, Benji? Oh, sure. Papa likes you, Benji. You're a good boy. You're not like the other kids that make fun of him. You know, people don't realize that inside, he's, he's still the same proud man he always was. He used to say that man's respect is about the only thing he can hold on to when everything else goes wrong. Didn't you, Papa? It hurts when they call him names. I know it does. Nobody puts Viola and Gaudi in no garbage can. <laughs> you know what you remind me of? A mouse. <laughs> hey, hey, mouse. Partly because Papa's a big man. I guess little kids think that because someone's bigger than they are that uh, they don't have feelings, too. Okay, Mr. Casino, take your time. Mr. Casino, Marv Harriman's still after me. Do you think he's defending his honor because of what I did? I wish we could talk it over, but we can't. He doesn't talk too much. I guess I just have to let him tell me the only way he can that I didn't respect him.
Excuse me, Mr. Stumpy, but have you seen Marv Hammerman? No, he hasn't been in yet. He might be in later. Um, when he comes in, could you please tell him I'm looking for him? My name... Don't tell me. It's Mouse. Up to you, ain't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> morning why don't tell me you're looking for him have you seen him yeah just keep on going down till you come to the fiesta theater you'll find him thank you very much yesterday and I had to go home but I'm here now he still looks a little sick to me <laughs> Tony do you Marv uh, of course he looks a lot better than he's gonna look doesn't he Marv Cameron here don't like nobody writing things about him I know I want you to know real good. I just came to say I'm sorry for writing your name on the chart, Marv. And I'm here now. You don't know how sorry you're going to feel. Huh, Marv? I guess you've had enough. If you have. No, he hasn't had enough. He's still standing. Man, him and can keep on going like this all morning. Hey, aren't you going to finish the little punk off? He's had enough. Thank you. You mean you're just going to let him get away like that? I think it's you again. Are you all right? <gasps> of course you're not all right. Look at you. Come on in with me. You sit right over there, but don't touch anything. What happened to you? Probably a fight. Is that what it was, a fight? I bet you it was a fight. Either that or you got hit by a freight train. You kids. You kids never learn. There's a better way to settle things than with your fists. A person with brains could live his whole life without feeling a single blow. You know that? Let me see your hands. <gasps> I don't know which part of you has heard the worst. Fighting is not the answer. I know, but it wasn't a real fight. Yeah? Well, I'd hate to see you after a real one. I bet the other kid doesn't have a mark on him. No. Hmm. You can't win. Yes, you can. What? I don't understand you at all. Here, hold this against your lip. Now, you go right home and lie down, you hear? Don't let that bleeding start up again. But if it does, just take a wadded tissue and put it off under your lip. You understand? Yes, and thank you. And don't fight anymore, right? I wonder if I could possibly help it.
I guess you've had enough. this fight? What happened? Come on. Tell me all about it. Well, it was in front of the fiesta. Front of the house. So? Go on. Well, I went down there looking for him. Wait a and I... You went looking for him? Uh-huh. I went down there looking for him, and we met in front of the fiesta. We had a short fight, and now it's all over. How short was the fight? I mean, in blows. How many blows, Mouse? Do you remember? Or was it so many that you couldn't even... Four. Four? One in the stomach, one in the chest right there, one in the shoulder, and one in the face. You took all those blows? Mm-hmm. Did you fall down or what? Nope, I didn't fall. Well, I would have fallen if the Festa wasn't there. And I staggered around a lot, but I never actually went all the way down. Where? Sit down. What was it really like? Did he say anything or what? You haven't told me anything. Well, it was sort of an honorable thing, Izzy. A what? An honorable thing. Hammerman? Honorable? Shh. Hammerman's not like I thought is. That's all I'm trying to tell you. Are we talking about the same Hammerman? Marv Hammerman? I don't even know what Hammerman's like. It's strange, Izzy. I can't explain it in words. Quit fooling around. What happened? How bad was it? Well, Izzy, he could have made it a lot worse. Hey, garbage dog. Come here, boy. Come on. Come here, boy. Come here. What you got in your mouth, huh? Hey, there's something in here. It's a, it's a rubber lizard. He probably thought it was real. How about that? Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Here, you take it. But you found it. Finders, keepers, remember. You take it. Gee, thanks, sis. Well, I better be getting home. I got to get another ice cube. No, wait. I'll get an ice cube for you. But I go home and... No, it, Benji. I want to. I'll get it for you, Benji. Did you hear that, garbage dog? He called me Benji. <laughs> 